I watch Hello Okanagan from Silver Star's Bike Park. Hello Okanagan, on today's episode, we are gonna be answering one of the most common questions we get. Why do people come to the Okanagan to get married? Could it be the weather? Could it be the views? Hey Peter, who are we look going to find here? We're gonna go find Ian, who runs my garden wedding. My garden wedding. Hey everyone, we're in the Bermuda Triangle. No, I'm kidding. We're in a place. It's either Lake Country or Yama or Winfield. Um, there's three beautiful names, but it's a beautiful location. Either way, beautiful Lake Country now. We met a gentleman here that we wanted to have on the show. It's an Okanagan wedding special but we needed to talk about locations. There's a plethora of locations throughout the Okanagan from Salmon Arm through Predator Ridge all the way down to Penticton, Kelowna and uh, Osoyoos, of course. But here in Lake Country, there's a new venue that's called My Garden Wedding. And your name is Ian Don from Scotland. And why did you create this venue? And when did you open it? We created the venue when I wanted a budget to grow flowers and my wife could agree to do it a wedding venue to give me that. But it's too beautiful not to share. It's a beautiful spot. And um, it's something that we've, I've had in my background. We've, I've been in the wedding industry when I was from 16 years old. I had a shoe store. I used to paint shoes to match outfits that people would buy. So yeah. that's how, what got me into doing weddings. And then I had a, a bridal store actually at one point. Nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and do you, do you have any background in the wedding industry or is this the first time you're trying this out? This type of, yeah. in this, this side of the wedding industry, this is brand spanking new. Yeah. yeah. So, sure. no. What, what, in, what inspired you to kind of get into it then? Because I've been involved in the wedding business yeah. and because I love flowers uh, and because my venue, this area, this property is so pretty, the backdrop yeah, and the good. land was so pretty. Absolutely. It's like, I need to share this. It's just too beautiful to keep to myself. So, 100%. yeah. So this is actually just for ceremonies. It's not for receptions, correct? Or how, do, how does this uh, venue work? Okay, so mainly just for the ceremony. We do like a cocktail hour, appies, uh, drinks. But we can link in with different, uh, we've got local you know, community halls. Or we have a, gr a great option in Vernon at the college called Cal Room. And they can do a full, it's only 10 minutes from here. So you can tie everything together within a 10 minute drive of this area. So cool. and when did you, when did you open this area or when did you open this venue? It's exactly a year, almost a day that we opened officially. Yeah. July 15th, 2019. And this was nothing before you created everything. You this, plowed it all down and built yeah. this. This was a cattle pasture on a hill. I have just finished removing, bar I removed barbed wire still. They tied the trees together with barbed wire. It was ridiculous, yeah. So the capacity, if somebody wanted to book this, whether it's a corporate function or a wedding or whatever, what's the capacity? How many people are you able to have here? Because I noticed there's three locations, uh, three separate areas. There's a garden area. There's the area up here that you'll see. Uh, um, but I can see like a DJ party can be here. There can be a reception down there. Um, what is the capacity if somebody wanted to rent this place with parking spaces and with uh, the amount of people you can fit in your luxury tent? Okay, we can fit a lot of people up to about 200, but we've got a comfort level about 120 we've got car parking for 120 so that's a number that we're very comfortable with awesome well thank you so much sir for your time Hey Peter, didn't you get married in the Okanagan? Yeah, when we were living in Calgary, that's where I met my wife. Um, we found a beach in the Okanagan, we got married there, and that was actually the kickstart to me loving this area. Beautiful. All right guys, our next guest is Michelle Leckie from Okanagan Event Planners. How are you doing today, Michelle? I'm good, thanks. Yours? 
I'm doing great. <laughs> amazing, amazing. We love this new venue. Thank you for bringing us uh, uh, to this uh, my, spot here. My pleasure. Yeah. So when did you get into the event planning industry? Um, here in the Okanagan, I just got into it in December, but I was doing events in Edmonton before I moved out. So what? how many years have you been doing this? Uh, probably like five in total. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. And what got you into the industry? Like, wh what drove the passion to get into event planning? I loved having parties and <laughs> having lots of people over and I just, yeah, and it stemmed off and I was asked to do people's parties and weddings and yeah, I just really loved it. It was my passion and yeah. Awesome. How long have you been in the industry then? Uh, in total, like five years, but here in the Okanagan, I just started in December. Okay, fair yeah. enough. And what do clients mostly ask for? Whether it's a corporate function or if it's a wedding, what kind of It's mainly do you get? weddings right now, but the requests are now coming in for a wedding proposal, birthdays, baby showers. Yeah, we pretty much do it all. That's awesome. So. Would you say that it took an, like, an initial hit through COVID and then like, it's slowly starting to pick back up again? Or what did you mainly notice when kind of everything hit the fan in, uh, in March, I guess it was? Uh, I noticed that a lot of people needed assistance that maybe didn't have planners. So I assisted with them trying to reschedule uh, their vendors. And then I, at the same time as COVID, I brought out my micro wedding packages and that just took off. Um, yeah, it's mainly geared for under 30 uh, guests. And yeah, it's been busy. And you're and you're all over the Okanagan, right? We can't even though we're in Lake Country right now. This is one of your favorite new spots. Yeah. You're from Salmon Armed Osoyoos. I'm assuming you're everywhere. If someone yeah. wants to get a hold of you. That is correct. I service all over the Okanagan. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about the micro wedding. So below 30 people or 30 people and below. What else can people expect with that? Um, I try and make it like an all inclusive, uh, but still customizable package. So I try and reduce their stress as much as possible, and. Yeah, I help them choose packages and they get appetizers, their venue, obviously myself. We help them assist with like their decor. And then I bring everything to the, the venue and I'm there for the whole wedding and then tear down. When, yeah. I, when I lived in Calgary, because I did events myself around the world, so I can appreciate someone like you from concerts to corporate functions and weddings. And um, there's the whole, you know, like sometimes you plan a year in advance, hopefully you have as much time as possible. Yeah. And then you have all the pre-planning with your bride or your corporate uh, client or whatever it is leading up to it and then your production meetings and such but the the most fun I guess would be the setup and the tear down yes depending on who's helping you as well too because <laughs> exactly. it's going to be hard to get good help these days yeah it is but I have a great assistant uh, Shelly and she's my right hand lady awesome. and uh yeah I yeah I really appreciate everything she does so, so you you supply lighting sound if they need like tablecloth centerpieces if somebody wants to do a Christmas party um in France, like you can make them feel like they're there. Um, oh, yeah. Whatever theme it is, if they want a white winter wonderland wedding, I mean, anything, sky's the limit. I thrive off that stuff. That's awesome. Yes. So, <laughs> Bigger, better. Yeah. Like me, I love, I love a blank slate and then you yeah. just create something and then you pitch it to the client and hopefully they go for it. And... Exactly, yeah, I try and bring their vision to life, right? And yeah, it's all about collaboration and yeah, it usually works out well. What's yeah. your favorite part or what's your favorite event to, uh, to book for a client? Probably the wedding, and I, I, I say that just because there's so much prep involved, and it's obviously still quite stressful for them, right? I mean, it's one of their biggest days of their life, and then when it's on the day and seeing it all come together, that's like the greatest part for me. When the bride first walks into the venue, when yeah. you see the look in her face, because obviously she hasn't seen the final seen product them. yet, yeah. that's your payback. That's, yeah, I'm sure. that's it, yeah, that's I awesome. love it. So being in the event planning industry, you've probably seen some pretty crazy events and weddings. What would you say is the craziest or one of the coolest event stories or wedding stories in particular that you have? It was probably this Saturday. I did my helicopter elopement and it was a gothic themed wedding. But I think the thing that stuck with me the most is they tried to they had to reschedule their wedding seven times oh. so just getting actually just getting there on the day and just yeah it was awesome so that was probably my biggest yeah so then getting getting into like event planning and everything you said you got in because you like parties and everything was it what you expected going into it like is it is it exactly how you expected it or is it a lot more of like uh, dealing with chaos and like putting out fires all the time. Uh, yeah, it can be. <laughs> yes. And I guess it's just been able to manage that. Right. And hopefully foresee like you already trying 
yeah, plan for that, right? So that less chaos and yeah, just reassuring the clients and you have to guide them, right? Because sometimes they think they know what they want, but you, you, you know, there's <laughs> the story, like how, how yeah, sorry. Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> so being in the event planning industry, uh, was it what you expected getting into it or is it a lot more putting out fires? I'd imagine it's actually like you're, when you're getting, you know, when you're flying or when we're able to fly again and you can, um, you have to put on the immigration papers, like what your job is. Do you, do you sometimes put firefighter just because of all the fires you're putting out all day? I probably should. <laughs> um, you wear many hats. I do wear many, many hats. Yeah, definitely. Um, you're like it's the a challenge. You're the therapist. Yep. You're the event planner. <laughs> you, sometimes you're the caterer. Sometimes you're the lighting designer. I mean, there's a million things that you got to take care I'm of. I'm the server. Yeah, I do lots. Um, but yeah, I think one of the biggest eye openers was I do like to be there for my clients and I do have my phone on pretty late um, because I know sometimes there is issues that keeps couples awake for a really long time. So I like to be able to answer them like right away. So I find that's probably the, the biggest eye opener for sure. Very cool. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for being a part of this. So where can people find you if they need to get a hold of you? Um, www.okanaganeventplanner.com or they can come to my office at the Alpine Center. In Vernon? Yeah, in Vernon. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And you can get more information on Michelle on our descriptions below. Hey guys, don't forget to check us out on Facebook. And Instagram too. <laughs> Buddy, the only way this is gonna work is if you turn the power on. Man, I'm spitting some raw beats. Listen to this right here. Welcome back, Okanagan. I'm really excited to have a friend of mine who's got the same initials as me. This is DJ PK. How you doing, my friend? Good. How you doing? I'm doing awesome. We met a while ago when I was booking him some shows, and PK was actually on a large event that we did in Vernon at Cal Tire Place. We had brought in Loverboy and Platinum Blonde, my friends and I, and we thought in between acts, we shouldn't just have the ugly lights come on as the roadies are getting things changed for the next act and just pipe in music. Why not have a DJ start the show and then play in between the bands? And uh, DJ PK, do you remember that? Did you have a lot of fun? It was a great show. I think it was a great opportunity, I think. How many people did we end up having? A couple of thousand, three thousand yeah, yeah. people, and it was definitely one of the biggest, one of the biggest shows that I've done, and it was quite a pleasure opening for uh, Love Boy and Platinum Blonde, and uh, I think it definitely set the uh, the tone for my presence in the Okanagan and trying to build, you know, uh, uh, my presence and my brand here. So it was awesome. It was great working with you too. You did good. On cool. Stage. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very cool, man. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where are you from? Uh... I'm from Scotland, like, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, the, fir the first two were from Scotland. Yes. The yeah. first, yeah, the first two were from Scotland, no. Uh, originally, I was born in, uh, in India, yeah. uh, but when I was two years old, my folks moved to the Middle East, to close to Dubai, actually. And so that's where I finished high school, that's where I finished my studies, and, uh, and that's where I'm from. And then I did a bunch of traveling and, and got into... And how did you end up in the Okanagan? Uh, you want the long version of the story or the, the short version? Of the, uh, the, the, cli the cliff notes. <laughs> the cliff notes. I guess we got five minutes on this video. Cool. Um, ended up going to college to, 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 to Switzerland in Europe. And, and my roommate there actually was a DJ. And that's, he's the one who first introduced me to, um, to DJing, basically. And so you got the bug by watching him? Pretty much, yeah. I, 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 I studied less and partied more. Uh, and, and, and that's how I got my first few gigs in like clubs in, in, in Switzerland. And... I made some good money there and then long story short I ended up moving years later on to Toronto for my postgrad and then finally to the Okanagan for work and uh, uh, I, I, was, I, I was blessed and fortunate to get involved with uh, um, co-owning the bridal event in Vernon and that got me into the, the wedding industry, uh, planning weddings as well and then that I was like you know what I've been 
DJing for like so many years, I might as well get into DJing for like corporate events, weddings, and uh, you know, backyard parties, anywhere where people want to dance, basically. And so, so that's how once I moved here to Vernon, to the Okanagan, I started uh, getting into weddings and 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 DJing for the last four years now in the Okanagan. So that's the long story short, I guess. So you, so you basically, you do everything from corporate functions. Uh, weddings, uh, someone's birthday party. You do nightclub shows as well. Obviously, we talked about arena shows. It doesn't matter if it's 10 people or 10,000. I mean, yeah. someone can book you if they want because you're experienced enough. And I've seen you in action. I think you're one of the best. Like the, the people that we've had today are people that are maybe new in the industry, like um, like the, the venue itself. But we feel it's going to be one of the best ones. When Michelle herself, we feel she's one of the best event planners in the Okanagan. We want to have her on. And PK, maybe he doesn't get a lot of love because a lot of people might not know who he is. But those that have booked you, believe me, my friends, I've read the review and uh, nothing but, you know, five stars out of five stars. Yeah, the, the, the best Scottish DJ around, that's for sure. <laughs> Very happy about that, but no, so uh, I know what I specifically want to know, and I think the view viewers will also love to hear about is, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the cooler events, gigs, uh, most memorable uh, moments in uh, your DJ career so far? Um, gosh, there have been so many, actually, and <laughs> I think after a few drinks, I think every event ends up being pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty memorable, but... Um, Definitely, no. To start off with, the 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 Lover Boy Platinum Blonde event was was a great opportunity. Um, a lot of the events that I did back in Europe to really set the foundation for like me loving music and DJing too. Um, but in the last two three years here in the Okanagan specifically, I think uh, weddings have been a great um, uh, you know fun exposure. You know, like it's a very special day for like uh, for like brides and groom. You know, and so being part of their special day is really, really, uh, uh, every one of them is really special, you know. And, but I was also fortunate enough to be the uh, main DJ and the opening act for the Special Olympics BC, I think that was last year, uh, 2018, or last year. I think it was last winter. Yeah, it was last winter. It was, la it was last winter. About a year and a half ago. Yeah, it was last winter, and um, I think there were about 800 athletes from all over Canada, uh, plus staff and volunteers, and, and I ended up performing at the Cal Tower place with 12, 1,300 people. So it was really, really another special um, uh, opportunity. And uh, um, and yeah, man, and then there have been some small little backyard parties that I don't want to get into the details of. Well, I, I was actually going to bring that up right now. I remember driving home, and I saw fireworks going off near a beach, and I'm not going to yes. mention where. And then uh, the next day, you and I just happened to be talking, and I said, man, it was so cool seeing some fireworks yesterday. It wasn't even Canada Day or anything. And you were like, guess what? I was in that party. I was de DJing someone's backyard party. Was it a wedding or just a, just yeah, a I, regular party? I think it was, uh, I think they were just celebrating the anniversary or something, as far as I remember. That's cool. That's cool. I don't want to say too much. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's keep that, uh, <laughs> let's keep that on, under ropes. Eh? So, uh, cool, man. Well, Thank you so much. Anything else you want to say about yourself, the view, tell to the viewers anything? Sure. Yeah. I mean, since the segment is on weddings, I know like COVID's happened. Like we've like we've all uh, like we've all we all experiencing and experiencing it and trying to uh, you know deal with it. So I know a lot of uh, couples, uh, you know, are on budgets and a lot of them are you know postponing their weddings to next year. And you know we have great. Uh, people like Michelle, like you guys saw previously in the video, like she's doing these things called micro weddings. So I definitely, I've told all my clients and future clients too, like that's a great option right now, you know, and, and, and part of that micro wedding uh, um, phase that we're going through right now. So if any clients want, uh, need my assistance with that. So like definitely reach out and, you know, or like get in touch with Michelle or like, you know, many other people in our, in our, in our industry. And one thing I, I'm, I'm offering to like, uh, you know, brides and grooms who are getting married in the next few months or by the end of the year, or even next year. And if they really are tight on budgets because of everything that's going on, like I have like a, I, w I wanted to call it a COVID package, but it sounds kind of, <laughs> I, I call it a budget package basically. And really like, even if you can't afford a DJ, I totally understand that if it's a luxury at this point, you know, for a fraction of the cost, I can even like make you a playlist and actually curate the songs that you guys want to hear. You know, and and that's a great idea. Yeah, and and mash and actually not just a playlist, but actually mash up all the songs so that it's it's like a continuous two three hours of songs that you guys love. And you know, you don't need a DJ, but for a fraction of the cost, you can press play also, and I'll have all the songs mixed for you. And hopefully, that helps for your wedding. With you transitions know? and everything too. Yeah, with transitions and all the mixes and something you know I would do if I was there live, but 
since you know since you guys are on a budget yeah, i'll be yeah. able to do it in advance if i get the cool. songs in advance so something to help out you know something that'll help me and keep me busy too and uh cool well thank you man yeah man awesome. and and yeah and i have um i'm working on like music too with production and remixes but that's going to come a little bit later on but but that what you were just saying right now is about um a brighter groom to keep the budget down pressing play i want to say that this guy's actually a hashtag real dj the only time he'll ever let you press play is when he sends you the music when you book him whether it's a backyard party a beach party an arena show corporate function wedding whatever it is i guarantee you this guy's not pressing play and pretending he's spinning he's not pressing play and going to the bathroom or talking to people he's literally watching the audience djing to what they want whether it's they're into a country uh you know segment or if they want a little bit more hip-hop or dance music or old school fun stuff he djs to the specific audience and especially if you got your own requests i only know this because we work together this guy is one of my favorite djs or the favorite dj that i have in western canada not just the okanagan and we're starting to also work with the uh, virtual funhouse entertainment that D uh, dj pk is part of as well so whether he does a uh, virtual party online anywhere around the world you're also available for social distancing events which we'll get into at a later date as well awesome my friend well thank you so much if, if you were in the middle of a dance floor or something and you don't see like everybody's like like kind of starting to like teeter off and everything like that what's a song that's like go to old reliable get everybody turned what's up the and back on the floor the dance what's the floor? banger Jeez. Like quite a few but i mean i'd probably actually go old school more than the newer ones with something yeah. like little john or like uh, uh you know something that 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 used to just like uh just get the club you know. like do we go hip-hop do we go old school rock and roll depending on the crowd what are you talking depending on the crowd for sure yeah you know depending yeah. on the crowd yeah nothing scottish uh and definitely some scottish proclaimers songs. yeah i'm yeah. telling you <laughs> hey guys smash a like and make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications to hear about everything we are doing.